Hi everyone and thanks for tuning in. Today we're looking at lesson 7.1, Adjacent and Vertical Angles. Um, today we're going to be looking at seven things to write in our notes. The first two things are going to be your vocabulary terms. Let's go ahead and get started on those. First thing we want to know is what are adjacent angles and they just share a common side and are connected by the same vertex or the same point. Um, another way to think about this, you could also write that they're sharing a fence. Um, here's what I mean by that. In these two pictures, some adjacent angles in this first one would be angles 1 and 2. Um, another pair of adjacent angles, angles 2 and 3. Another pair of adjacent angles, angles 3 and 4. And then finally, um, maybe 4 and 1. Okay, so all those are adjacent angles for this figure. Just notice that I chose two angles that are right next to one another, and they're sharing a fence line. So notice two and three are right next to one another, three and four are right next to one another, and one and four are right, right beside each other. Same thing over here, one and two, two and three, three and four, and four and one. Okay. So make sure you have adjacent copied. I'm going to go ahead and pull this screen down so you can see vertical. Vertical angles are opposite angles formed by intersecting lines, and these angles are congruent. So these angles are just opposite from one another. So if we were looking at this picture right here, angle 1 and angle 3 are vertical, and angle 2 and angle 4 are vertical. They're opposite, and they're also equivalent. If angle 2 was... I don't know, 50 degrees, angle 4 would also be 50 degrees. If angle 1 was 130 degrees, angle 3 would be 130 degrees. Same thing over here, angle 1 and angle 3 are vertical, angle 2 and angle 4 are vertical. Okay. Make sure that you've taken the time to copy down the definitions and also maybe an example of what an adjacent angle looks like and vertical angle looks like. Once you're done, go ahead and click play. So let's go ahead and pause now to write down what you see. Click play once you're done. So right here we're just going to practice. Um, you're going to watch me do one and then you're going to try two on your own. Name a pair of adjacent angles. So anytime you name adjacent angles, they have to start with the outer point, go to the inner point, and then back out. So this one we could do A, B, F. And maybe we could also do F, B, E. So basically I just chose two angles that are right next to one another. The next one is kind of tricky because it's asking you to name a pair of vertical angles. Remember, vertical angles also have to be equal. So you have to find two angles that are equal and opposite of one another. So what I'm thinking is that angle A, B, F and angle DBC are vertical. So we would say that these two are vertical. Make sure that you're also naming the angles out, in, and out. You can't go in, out, out. Okay, You have to kind of follow a line here, DBC or CBD. Next one you're going to try, you're going to just write number three in your notes and answer these questions. Name two pairs of adjacent and two pairs of vertical. Once you're done, click play so you can check your work. All right, so an example of adjacent, we can maybe say angle VWX and XWY. Or we could also say angle YWZ and angle ZWV. Okay, those are all adjacent angles. Remember, they're right next to one another. If you had the same letters, but maybe they were switched around, maybe instead of VWX, you had XWV, that's a, still the same thing. For vertical angles, you did have to be very specific here. Let's say maybe ZWY and VWX. Those are two pair of vertical angles because they're right across the street from one another. Um, let me do this in another color. We can do X, W, Y, and V, W, Z. 
Both of those are vertical angles because they are across from one another and they have the same angle measure. Again, go ahead and try these. You're doing two pairs of adjacent and two pairs of vertical and number four. Click pause right now. Once you're done, click play to check. All right, some adjacent angles maybe we can do N, J, P, and P, J, Q. Another pair maybe we could do N, or sorry, L, J, M, and L, J, K. So those are all adjacent because they're right next to one another. Vertical needs to be a little more specific. So you need to make sure that you chose angles that are opposite of one another. I can see two clearly right now. Those would be P, J, Q, here, and L, J, M. See how they're opposite? Um, maybe another one you could do, M, J, N. Let me do that in a different color so you could see a little bit better. M, J, N, and across from that is over here, that would be K, J, Q. How'd you do? The next part we're going to talk about whether they're adjacent or vertical and then find the value of X. So this one says tell whether the angles are adjacent or vertical. So an angle A, those are going to be vertical angles because they are opposite from one another. And X will be equal to whatever 70 is equal to because vertical angles are equal. So X is equal to 70. Okay. This one over here is a little bit different. Notice they're not across one another, so these would be considered adjacent. And we've got a little bit of a dilemma here. We know that this whole entire corner, both of these, should be equal to 90 degrees. We've already taken care of 31 degrees, so maybe if we figure out how many degrees is left, we can see how much it's going to be equal to. So I'm going to just take 31 away from 90. So you get 59. So basically, this corner, x plus 4, has to be equal to 59 degrees. How in order to get whatever x is equal to, I'm just going to take 4 away from 59, and x will be giving me 55. You can always go back and check and just plug in x. I know 55 plus 4 is 59, and 59 plus 31 is 90 degrees, so that did get that correct. So here are three that you're going to try. Five, six, and seven are all going to be either adjacent or vertical. Um, make sure that you're careful on number seven because that one might be a little bit tricky. Go ahead and pause the video now and try the best you can. Once you're done, click play so you can check your work. Okay, so number five, those are going to be adjacent angles. And I know that this straight line is equal to 180 degrees. So to figure out what X is, I'm just going to take 180 and subtract 85 from it. So I can't do 0 minus 5, so I'm going to over here and take away. And take away one more. 10 minus 5 is 5. 7 minus 8 is, 17 minus 8 is 9. So x is equal to 95 degrees. Okay. Over here, number 6, these angles are vertical. And the vertical angles are always equal to one another, so x is equal to 90 degrees because it's right across from a 90 degree angle. And number 7, these are adjacent. And I know that this whole entire, entire corner should be 90 degrees, and I already have 69 degrees worth of that. So what I'm going to do is figure out how much I have left. So that would be 21 degrees, so 21 degrees is equal to 2x minus 1. I probably can solve by adding first, so I'm going to add 1 to both sides, so that's 22 is equal to 2x, and then divide both sides by 2, x is equal to 11 for number 7. How did we do? That is, looks like it's going to conclude our notes. Just make sure you have seven things written down. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.